Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, I always worry sometimes that I'll come on here on the wrong day, but I think <laughs> we are good. Hi, Michael. Hi, Gloria. How are you? Hi, Sherry. <clears throat> I wasn't quite ready this morning. Well, I thought I had all kinds of time. Hi, Corinne. Hi, Marianne. And then I was playing around with my sketchbook thing that I'm doing for that color, color eye combo, color e combo. Good morning, Emerson. <clears throat> Hi, Gail. And then I ended up really realizing I had to clean my palette and I didn't have any of my little paper towels ready. So then I felt like behind the eight ball really quickly. It's funny how that <laughs> can happen in the split second. And I haven't even had a sip of coffee yet, which is crazy. Good morning, Sarah. So how is everyone? I hope you're having a nice week. Good morning, Ellen. Hi, Gabby. I am excited to paint, as always. This past weekend, I was doing working on my larger paintings that I'm working on for some art shows that I have coming up and for a gallery that I'm in. So that was fun, but then I haven't been like doing all my littles, and I also have been doing the color combo thing, which is fun. It's fun to get out of my comfort zone and <clears throat> play around with the acrylics. Hi, Allie. <clears throat> but I feel like I have dirty hands already this morning. Um... I have no idea what I was going to say, but anyway, let's see. So my little friend Emerson requested candy. So I had gotten some candy at <clears throat> Market, I guess the week before last, maybe. I need a new one of these holder things. This is all wonky to get it straight. So these are those little <clears throat> candies that are um, like little malted balls for Easter. I really wanted to paint the... the um, I wanted to paint, what did I want to paint? You think I can remember what I wanted to say? Let me fix my light here. I wanted to paint the ones that are the Easter eggs that are um, wrapped in cellophane, but the um, the candy lady didn't have those. <clears throat> so we're gonna paint these instead. I'm gonna try to keep it really loose. I keep feeling like, like you get to points where you feel like you need to change something up or you feel kind of like it's getting to something. I don't even know what the word is. Too boring or something needs to change. Needs, mm, yes, no, no, I'm going to start with the big brush. I wasn't going to, but I should. Um, and I feel like that. And I think it's that I need to loosen up more. That's how I always feel. <clears throat> always my goal. Um... Okay, so let me think. So you know what these candies are. So it's Easter. It'd be fun to do a lot of Easter candies. I did take a few other photos from when I was at market. But I'll have to keep an eye out for those. Um, I do have another place I can get candy. It's called Roots. It's, a, it's another farmer's market that's only on Tuesdays. But I doubt that they'll have those. They actually seem to have, like, the less sexy candies because I... <clears throat> got candies from the candy lady and her candies like the the peppermint candies the little twisties are twisties on the end but the ones at roots are straight line I think we talked about this before maybe when I was painting the those little lollipops a couple weeks ago um but yeah I want the old-fashioned ones and it's not very often that I get to a candy store a little bit too much water so the trick with these is to get them to actually look like the shape that they are but I don't want to get precious with it here I am already thinking about that and that is not my goal you know what I want to put out a little bit when I do whites I like to use my manganese um, blue hue so how is everyone here I'm just rambling on and not checking on you guys I'd sent out an email this week <clears throat> about possibly trying to do one of these on YouTube. I've had a lot of people ask me to do them later because they're like on the on the uh, <clears throat> on the West Coast or somewhere in the middle and they don't want to get up at five o'clock to do this live, which I can't blame them, nor would I. So I just threw that out there to see what you guys all thought. And I kind of got a unanimous, we love our community just the way it is. And we don't want to change this. But if I wanted to do one, try one, maybe on YouTube later in the day and just do it 
maybe once or twice a month that that would be a good idea. <clears throat> so I'm not sure I will. It's just an idea I had of because I want to kind of grow my YouTube channel anyway, and that'd be a kind of a good way of playing around with doing that. I mean, I always post these on there. Get the hair or something there. That's on my brush. I got it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I like my Wednesday mornings just the way they are also. Yeah, I posted about, I had that workshop coming up in Connecticut and I posted a photo of it in my story and it was fun to see all my friends that are now my friends that I met through my workshops. I love that. That's the best part. I'm happy to, ha so happy to be doing an in-person one. I have to plan a few more of them. <clears throat> Gabby, thank you. Susie from Ohio. Hi, Susie. Wonderful. When I do the orange ones, I think I'm just going to use my Indian yellow for that because my orange that I have is not transparent. So as I'm painting these, I have to like notice where they kind of kiss each other, where they come together. It's also, I just noticed yesterday when I went for a, a quick walk that um, the uh, magnolia was blooming. So I'm so excited to get photos of that to paint. <clears throat> Whatever's best for you, Kim. But yeah, 7 a.m. for me and love waking up to this. Good. I do too. It's 7 for you. It's, it's 8 for me. There are some mornings when I'm like, oh, I got to get up and, and look nice. That's the worst part. I'd be here doing this anyway, but I actually have to make sure I don't <laughs> look like I just rolled out of bed, which I did. <clears throat> That's the only hard part for me. And ever since COVID, I like trying to look nice less and less. Do you guys feel the same way? You know, about the yoga pants, comfy clothes. Now, what should I do in the background? Maybe I will do the blue... I don't, well, and I need shadows, too. I'm just talking out loud. <clears throat> I'm just going to put it where the shadows are. Yes, keep it loose, Kim. Keep it loose. Don't worry about the getting precious. And the more of a rigid-shaped thing I'm painting, the more precious I get with what I'm doing. I find that. I could wear my PJs. Oh, good, Ellen. <laughs> that could happen one of these days. <laughs> I think I do most of my best painting in my PJs. So it's lighter over here and a little darker on the left side, but I don't need to follow that. <clears throat> there. So what's new with everybody? The PJs are the best, aren't they? Anything new? What's everybody having? Coffee or tea? I actually started <clears throat> the, that Noom diet. Have you heard of it? And I think one of the biggest things that's done, I've only done it, this is only my third day, but I just feel like I keep putting on extra pounds. So I wanted to try something new. And I think the one of the biggest things so far is that I have to drink a glass of water before I even have my coffee. So then I, my coffee lasts me much longer because I don't really get hungry for it. <clears throat> coffee is a must, yes, absolutely. That's something I would, wouldn't want to give up. I look forward to it. And it's kind of that pause of the morning, even though I really just get up, get ready, and I'm in my studio within minutes of waking up like unless I'm writing I couldn't sleep last night because I was trying to think of something to write a blog post about usually if I kind of start thinking about it when I go to sleep at night a good idea will come to me by the morning I kind of think I have one but <clears throat> um sometimes like that can distract me from sleeping because <clears throat> I think about it too much Mary's having her tea 
I just received my Tracal brushes. Love them. Oh, good, Allie. I'm glad you do. I need some new ones. Ellen's having coffee with cinnamon. Co tea first, then coffee. That's probably a good idea. I hear, buenos dias. I hear that it's a good idea, too, to have, like, lemon coffee in the morning. <clears throat> no. <laughs> tea with lemon, not coffee. Oh, my <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I kind of like it just like that. I can use my... I don't know that I need much else. Maybe I'll do some darkers in the reds, but... <clears throat> yes, I need to order myself some new... Cal... Oh, trek out. Oh, the brushes that Allie, uh, <coughs> Allie just got here. T-R-E-K-E-L-L. <clears throat> and the ones that I like are called the Spectrum 3000 Be Bright. <clears throat> I might use this. I'll keep this here in front of me. <coughs> Mine are getting a little tired. Oh, and I did find the brush cleaner. Now I can't remember because it's not in my studio. I'll have to tell you guys about it then. I got a new brush cleaner. I mean, not a cleaner. It's a brush um, restorer. And I think it is, is it by Tricale? It might be. No, I can't remember. Here I'm telling you something. I don't even have the facts. But I did want to tell you about it. I love it. I've been putting it on my brushes. And you work it into your brush. And then it pulls them back into that point. Like it, it uh, nourishes them and then gets them back in shape. Gabby, there's a, a company called Trakel. That's where, where you get them. I think they're the only ones that carry them, their own company. That already looks pretty fun, doesn't it? Color, <clears throat> I guess I'll just make these a little dark here. Okay, I'm gonna put my solvent away. Clean up my palette. Which I tried to clean it this morning. I think I need to spring clean my art studio. That would be a great plan. Because it is. It's a mess. Even cleaning my palette was tough. Savvy soap is also good for cleaning and restoring shape. Oh, that's good to know. I don't know Savvy Soap. It sounds like a fun name for sure. Savvy soap. And the soap that I use is from this from the Chelsea Classic Company that I use. This is what I clean my palette with mostly. But this comes in, in cake form, and that's what I use for my brushes usually. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I got out this fun new color. It doesn't really go with what I'm doing, but this is called Blue Ochre. Sounds good put some in because I want to keep this loose. I don't want it to get too tight. <clears throat> Crazy. I have to tell myself that I'll forget. <clears throat> Savvy soap. I like that name. Yeah, I want to be really, really loose with this. So I'm taking a risk. It could turn out awful. I often start out thinking that, and then a lot of times my paintings will kind of get tight on their own, and that's okay. I don't mind if they do, but <clears throat> I want them to be more spontaneous. cadmium and it's all wonky so I have to clean it off.
gold, my pink, my dark. I'm kind of using more than usual, I think, of these. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen it all. <laughs> yes, Michael, they do, they do happen. Tidy up before. Yes, I have to tidy up too. Yeah, definitely need to do that. Colors and ones that there's no not that color in. That's always fun to do. Gold in there. I'm getting a little thick with this. But that's alright. Yeah, I'm still deciding if the big painting behind me is finished or not. <clears throat> Um, start some new ones. I just got accepted into another show that sounds like a lot of fun. It's the Winterthur Museum art show, and it's <clears throat> in Delaware. And um, it'd be fun to try a new one. <clears throat> That's always that kind of thing that <coughs> when I get notified that I got into a show, it's like, yay! And then I think, Oh, wow, am I going to be able to do that? <laughs> like right away, right following being excited about it is like feeling overwhelmed by it. So I need yellows, blues, pinks, whites, and oranges. And I need, um, what would we say is that, is the, I do try to think I don't really necessarily stick with it, but are my shadows, I think my shadows are warm and my highlights are cool. That's how we're going to try to think about it. <clears throat> How many? Oh, um, Allie, large ones. Oh, that shows in. So, so far I have a show in <coughs> um, my first one. How do you do all you do? Yeah, I know. Well, I think I need to slow down a little bit. I am getting a little crazed with it all. But thank you. Um, yeah, did I tell you about the book I'm reading? It's called Do Nothing, and it's about slowing down and not feeling like you have to accomplish everything in the world. <clears throat> um, yeah, because it's like here now, I finally got to the point where life, my kids are out of the house, it's time to slow down a little bit, and all I did was put more on my plate. I just <coughs> made more goals. <clears throat> okay, let's start with blue and work over to white. Oh, I have a little bit of... Oh, here, I must have bumped that right there. I see that that's moved. That's, um, <clears throat> I also got this. I was playing around with a new white. I think it's a little more expensive. It's Rude Labs. It's, they're um, <clears throat> supposed to be kind of healthier, natural paints. And the, and the white so far is a nice consistency. And now you know I have no idea what I was even talking about. <clears throat> um... <laughs> Like 100 things. Oh, my shows. So I think my first one is in May. And it is in Rehoboth, in Grove Park, which is a, just a cute little park in, in Rehoboth, um, right by Main Street. <clears throat> and then my next show will be at um, Rittenhouse. The first weekend of June, which I love. Oh, what am I missing? What by oh, what vitamins do you take? I need to take more vitamins. Um, and then the the next one that I get in is the winter third, and I think that might be like the second weekend in. Oh, I need that to go much brighter, but that's a nice transition color. Um, second weekend in July. I need to add. I've been trying to add all these things to my website in case anybody's looking. When in May? I think it's the 21st. It's a one-day show. I, if that's a Saturday, that's the date. Hmm. My palette is is a um, just a piece of like marble from the um, <laughs> from the kitchen counter store. Does that look like the 
the light. Now that's way too, I knew I was gonna have a little bit of a journey with this blue. Oh, but that's nice, isn't it? Oh, I like that. I just add a little bit of that manganese blue hue and that took me much closer to the color. Maybe I'll lighten it with, this is radiant blue, maybe a little white. So I feel like I started talking about 12 things and didn't finish any of them. I do that a lot. <clears throat> yeah, so, so far I have four shows. I don't want to do too, too many. I don't want to go crazy, but... Um, I think that so far that's doable. And then I did apply to Rittenhouse in the fall. And first... Uh-oh. Pause. Let me know if you can hear me. <clears throat> I do need... Well, it depends how many I sell. That's the tricky part of... Can you guys hear me? Because something... My internet was bad. <clears throat> um, it depends how many I sell. That's the hard part. Because I don't know if... You know, if I go to a show... Like, the last time I went to Rittenhouse in last fall, I sold... <clears throat> all my large pieces. And I probably had, I call anything large, like over, <clears throat> oops, like 16 by 18 and up maybe. <clears throat> oh, good. Thank you, Ellen. <clears throat> I sold all of them. So if that happened, like at my first show of the season, you know, you know how long oil paintings take to dry. The painting of them is not tricky. It's the Taking them and letting them dry. <clears throat> I mean, I wouldn't complain if that happened, but I have to have enough. Like, I like to have at least uh, one, two, three, four, maybe five or six large paintings for for a show. Um, yeah, when you think about it, that's kind of stressful. So I might have, right now, I might have, because they're not all here. Some of them are at Red Raven. <clears throat> I might have I might have five or six. <clears throat> so I've got to get painting. And I have stuff every weekend, too. It's a busy time of year to paint on Saturday mornings. I usually do most of my painting on Saturday and Sundays in the morning. Oops, sorry. Something's growling here. <clears throat> nice pinks. <coughs> now I need orange. Just tell the buyer they can't have it for a few months. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> I guess that's how the big the big guns do it that way, right? I don't think I have that pool. small ones too and I want you know to do some kind of beachy things for Rehoboth that I didn't even do yet <clears throat> I know that pink's gorgeous isn't I kept that vibrancy <clears throat> somehow that's easy to lose I'm going to lighten it for the lighter orange I think I'll just use white Morning, Ellen. I hope you're having a wonderful time in Florida. I'm sure that's amazing. <clears throat> How long are you there? That sounds so fun. So the yellow looks super desaturated, almost dirty. So I'm gonna add a little bit of blue in there. That is totally not an attractive color, but it looks pretty cl pretty close to what I'm aiming for. I might need a little bit more <coughs> blue. Is it getting hot? <laughs> it sounds lovely. You mean getting hot for the day or getting hot for the season? How long are you there, Ellen? Oh my gosh, that sounds like fun. I'd be happy to be anywhere hot. Good morning, Dawn. <clears throat> 
So this weekend, my family, were going to um, Virginia. My sister Dawn, who's on here, her daughter Erin is a colon cancer survivor. <clears throat> and it's the Scope It Out 5K that they do in D.C. And we missed it. We missed it last year, right, Dawn, because of COVID? I think so. Maybe even two years. Ellen's in Sarasota going to Cape Coral here next Wednesday. Oh, how fun. Wonderful. <clears throat> so my family, we all go down and run the race in Aaron's honor. So that will be fun. And I also have a gallery down there. It's called Nepenthe, N-E-P-E-N-T-H-E -E Gallery. And I'm going to go meet them. Take a few more paintings to them, too. It's good yellow. Two years missed. Yes, it'll be nice. And it'll be so fun to all be together. And cherry blossom, yes. My my niece Erin knows that's my goal is to get some cherry blossom photos. I'm just do my whites down here in the front so you can see. <clears throat> it's fun to mix a broad palette like this too. Um, it's like in my whites. I love this old Holland gray, gray blue or whatever it is. Gray. What is it? Old Holland Violet Gray. Oh, I can add a moderator to my live video. I wonder how that works. Ellen, do you want to do it with me? I just got a little pop-up thing. Now I want a cool white. <clears throat> I don't know that that's dark enough. I'm trying to guess your reference from all. Oh, Ellen, you you came in late. Why do you see what it is? You'll never guess. Think Easter. All right, let me see if I can do that, Ellen. I'm going to add Ellen as a moderator to see what happens. Like, I think then you can, I don't know what you can do. Right. Let's see. Ellen. Ellen's my moderator. I keep wanting to do this. She helped me when I filmed for Inspiring Art last Wednesday. We went and um, <clears throat> interviewed my friend Beth. She did a demo for us of her really cool painting technique. And Ellen moderated for me. So, Ellen, I don't know what it'll say to you or what you can even do, but we'll see. All right. I think that's a good palette. Let's start with that. <clears throat> so, Ellen, that's what we're painting. They're the little multi balls. I got them at market on Saturday from the candy lady. Oh, okay. So, Ellen, I guess you, they can't hear you, but you can type answers in, like maybe if I miss something. But you guys just talk to each other anyway, so I'm not sure what the difference is. Yeah, I love that we all hang out like this. Okay. So I tried, Ellen, I tried keeping it super messy. And I'm going to kind of keep it that way all the way through if I can. <clears throat> all right. So my darkest darks. Oh, you know, I didn't really work on a shadow color, but maybe that will just kind of evolve on its own. that I mixed. Making things like look hard edged but loose is kind of a tricky thing to even think about doing. Like I want to keep it loose but it has hard edges so how loose can it really be? I need to pay attention to where like they kind of kiss each other too. <clears throat> I 
Welcome to anybody who's popping in here. I'm painting the um, little, in honor of Easter, that's coming quickly. Little um, malted Easter eggs. And I'm trying to keep them very loose and spontaneous. I keep telling myself that. I have no idea if anything changed other than an experiment. Yes, that's right. When we like good experiments. And I didn't really read what it said about it. So, yeah, it doesn't seem like anything did. Maybe in other situations. I don't know. But anyone can always just chat in here. I was looking up how it all works in YouTube. Because if I film some of these in YouTube, then it just exists in there. And I don't have to go through that whole process. Like when I'm finished with this at the end, I have to download it like I used to be able to save the video onto my camera roll and send it to myself and add it to YouTube but now you have to go through like a third-party app and you have to download it um I didn't do a background color either um yeah I don't even know what I was saying but it's 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 a project from the time we finished doing this until I have it up on YouTube because I have to download it then I have to re-upload it to YouTube. But I'm learning. I keep learning stuff. I got some new hellebores that I need to plant. Is that some reflection in there? It's messy looking, isn't it? <clears throat> Um, put in some of my darker colors. <clears throat> I also want to paint another big donut. That's on my to-do list also for shows. Sold the great big donut that I did at Rittenhouse, and I'd love to replace it and do a new one. Maybe I need to do a little bit of my shadows in my background. Just thinking, what do I need to do? The shadows of my yellows. I mean the shadow side. This would be a good exercise to just paint one of these and have it look round. During the shows. Um, Ellen, I did want, they ask you if you want to do a demo. And I did do it at Rittenhouse the first time I did that show a couple years ago, but it was such a hassle to bring everything along that then I didn't volunteer the next year because just getting ready for the show, it feels overwhelming to me. Um, so no, I don't usually paint at all. And it, it, it's more the packing of the stuff. Plus there's no time. It's busy. Crazy how busy it gets to, to be at a show like that. It's like I feel like I don't even have time to eat sometimes. And I'm recruiting because my husband's <clears throat> last day, he's retiring this year from teaching. And his very last day of school is like when the when the art show is. I almost probably shouldn't have done it this year, but so I'm recruiting my kids to come help me set up and stuff. Which will be fun. <clears throat> um, it's pretty fun so far. I think I need a little bit of a, um, <clears throat> tinted white for my background. I might go in and do that a little bit. I think the background's distracting me a little bit. Sometimes when I'm painting, I think about like where my eyes are being pulled, like if something's distracting me or calling me or, you know, that I feel like I want to work in an area. <clears throat> I'm going to use my bigger brush too. <clears throat> I 
don't want to leave chunky bits like that. kind of carving out my shapes it makes a big difference to see them like that doesn't it yeah I like that feel oh can people other people not comment then that would be weird if it kept people from commenting but who knows Alan and I are figuring this out. Oh, good. Yeah, so I wonder, I'll have to look it up, Ellen, and see what the benefits of having a moderator is. Anything more than just talking in the chat like you can already answer things. <laughs> Maybe just feel like you have to pay more attention. <laughs> I don't know. That's a little too light. That's a little messy looking. That looks a little too orange, doesn't it? <clears throat> it can ban or block people. <laughs> oh, we don't need that in here. I see, Michael. That makes sense. <laughs> we don't have those people. I guess anything can happen, though. When my husband was teaching from home with COVID, in the beginning, he had to be careful of people coming into, like, the, the um, <clears throat> Zoom meetings that weren't allowed in there, like, that weren't even in the school. I think Zoom had a really hard time with all of that in the beginning. <clears throat> Isn't that crazy? People sit around and want to be rude. Get it. <clears throat> or Beyond Circles. I like that name. <clears throat> all right. I still don't have enough darks. <clears throat> My darks are getting a little crazy, I think. Sometimes when I don't want to lose all the lightness. What was the name of the brush again? That you, oh, it is called Trekel. T-R-E-K-E-L-L. -L. Yes, I want to get more of those. Trekel, thanks, Ellen. Thanks for moderating, Ellen. All these hard edges are a lot of brush holding for me. <clears throat> brush holding, no. Breath holding. Okay, I need to go back to bed. Oh, I like how that one looks in there now. That looks cool. <clears throat> what hue is the blue? <coughs> it is, um, the blue that I mixed is mostly ultramarine and manganese blue hue. Is that what it's called? manganese blue hue. <clears throat> Do I like them as much as rosemary brushes? Hmm. Well, I don't, I don't know the answer to that. I would say I like them both very much. I don't know. It's like your kids can't pick a favorite. I like them both. Um, I would, they have kind of a different bounce to them. And the bounce of my brush, how it feels when I'm you know, putting a stroke down is something that's important to me. But yeah, I don't. I don't think I'd have. I don't have a favorite. I I would use both, or I do like to use both actually.
but I need new brushes. I really do need to get some new ones. I've been buying a lot of new stuff, and so I'm trying not to buy anything right now, but there's always something new to get. I'm going to do a little um, <clears throat> course on acrylics. So I had to buy a lot of stuff for that. I have quite a bit, but, you know, everyone uses different supplies, and when you do something, you want to use the supplies that the teacher is using. Kind of get the same results. Whoops. Got a little smear of the orange in there. So I'm just kind of dancing around the canvas. That's what I think of it as. Good morning, Donna. Oh, no, I just use both. No, I don't mix them. <clears throat> yeah, they don't play well together. I mean, you can do acrylics underneath an oil painting, but you can't do, do it the other way around. starting to come together and I like I always say I get that same thing that maybe you feel too maybe that like when I'm at a certain phase of painting I don't think it's going to turn out and I do get nervous more when you're watching me I don't really care so much but part of the spontaneity and and the way of developing your own style is to not get precious about it and to take risks and to make messes and make mistakes and why is it that we don't learn to do that <clears throat> she didn't mention, oh, the cleaner. Yes, I have to, uh, yeah, I'm sorry I brought that up without having the answer. <laughs> but I have to remind myself that all the time. Not to be precious. Make mistakes. Try new things. Don't expect every painting to turn out. Maybe go for weeks and don't have any that turn out. I think I might need to go to a smaller brush for this now. Are the brush applications same for on acrylics? Mixing acrylics is no, I know. It's not easy at all. That's what I need to learn more of. Like when I'm trying to mix a color, I can almost do it <laughs> blindfolded with oils because I know what goes in to mix most colors. Every now and then I have to look one up. But with acrylics, ugh, I have a hard time getting the color I want. And then when I do, it dries out right away. So then I'm not happy with it, you know. I gotta go to a smaller brush. I had to wipe out a painting yesterday, but it's okay. That's right. That's part of learning, a huge part of learning. Maybe the most important part of learning is doing that. I like that. I like texture. I like leaving some of that texture, and I'm gonna have to go in and put more in here in a little bit. But I think I need to build my confidence a little bit. Let me work on my blues. Sometimes when it gets a little messy, I'm not sure that it's gonna turn out. So I do something to build my confidence. That the rejected. Yes, it is all about those lessons. Yeah, painting is not easy. I always think of that it looks easy, or that people think it looks easy, but it's totally not easy to learn. And it is hard to... Oh, I switched to my Trakel number 20. It's a little wonky on top. I need a new one, but it'll work.
looks not round. Ellen says, I take pictures of my work as I go along. A lot of time after I've wiped the canvas clean, I'll go back and say, darn, it didn't look that bad. Yes, that's true. That is true. We doubt ourselves and sometimes wipe it off when you should just set it to the side and come back and look at it again later. I do that a lot, especially with large paintings. Because... Um, yeah, when you get too close to it, then you kind of doubt things and you're looking at things differently than you would if you stepped back and came back and looked at it another time. <clears throat> so part of getting these to look round, well, part of it is that it's not easy at all, but it is, um, you know, making sure you have a good definition between your shadow side and your light side. The 24th rule. And what is, what's the 24th rule? I need lots of rules. that helped or not hours oh wait 24 hours to take a look and see if you still like it or or if you should start over of course oil painting's pretty much done by then it's hard to but you can go back in i shouldn't say that I don't mind the shadows having that brushy feel in them. The pinks got, need to go much pinker. I'm holding my breath. Whenever I get paint on the outside of my panel like this, I get it all over myself. Clean that up, have a sip of my coffee, step back and think about it. Oh my gosh, it's 8.48 already? You can tell I'm having fun. I didn't realize what time it was. <clears throat> all right, I had to pull this together because this is going to cut us off soon. It might be the first time that I don't get to finish my painting. All right, let's work on. I mean, that'll help me not be so precious about it, too, because we gotta pull it together now. Sorry, I'm holding my breath. I'm not talking. Is that one looking rounder? Deliberate and thoughtful. Yes, I tried to do that. Deliberate and thoughtful. I think I need more darks on the dark side of my white eggs. Let me just add. All right. I think one of my art teachers asked me if I knew how many artists it takes to finish a painting. She said three, he said, one to paint and two to pull the artist away. Oh, I like that. Yes. I like that. To say you are finished. Do not touch it. All right, I like how loose they are. Let me go in and look at my, my lightest colors and then I'll 
maybe go in and adjust my background if we have time. Still trying to keep it pretty loose. I think my my uh, shadow is a little too strong right here. All right. All right. Now I need my lightest pinks. I'll do my lighter yellows. My yellow looks a little wonky here. Oh, it's my. Um, I use that that uh, are enough pigment sticks a little thick on there. That's all right. And the pinks. Magenta. I love magenta. I love the word too. Be a fun name for like you know, like movie stars always name their kids crazy things. Like I love, I would love to name my child Magenta. It says a lot about a personality, right? Vibrant and happy. Good. That's my goal. Um, well, I like the pink. The pink is a good. What else? Where else do I need to send some love here? My blues, right? I didn't do my lightest blue. 53, we're still okay. There's a piece of pigment stick on there, I think. How do you keep your, oh, I clean it. Yep, I just keep cleaning it like that. I'm doing that between each thing. Haven't been with for months and turn on and see eggs. Wonderful. Oh, yes, thank you. I'm just trying to dance around and feel look where, yeah, with the paper towels, I'm wiping between each stroke or close to it. Maybe not right there. I didn't, but usually. See anything I'm missing? See anything I need to darken, lighten, pay attention to? They're getting more dimensional, right? <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> um... lighter. So I, yeah, I was thinking about how it's kind of like you start with the messy middle. I said, I also wish I could, oh yes, I wish too you could come. Workshop in France. Uh, I know they keep asking me about it, Michael. I gotta make a decision. I'm like, I think, <laughs> 
I'm afraid I need to give that thought and actually get back to them and pick a date. I, if I would do it next year, not, I would do it like next, sometime next year, like in June or July. They keep wanting me to do it this year. I haven't been to Europe since I was in high school. And I don't know, just the whole thought of it is a little overwhelming to me. And I know, you know, you just got to jump, jump in and it would be so much fun <coughs> approach to this style of painting is my favorite. Me too. Spontaneity is what I'm always aiming for. Um, <clears throat> so yes, Michael, I need to just push me off the ledge. Just talk me into it. <clears throat> I have the opportunity. I just need to say yes and, and dive in. I would love to go to France. I'm actually going to Italy this fall. So I'll get a feel for what it's like to be in Europe. A little bit I think I'm about done here at 57 I'm gonna get cut off so I need to say goodbye <clears throat> so I'll sign it maybe I won't I might go in here and play with this little area a little bit <clears throat> but we're gonna get cut off so there's my reference and my painting and my palette it's a fun palette isn't it sometimes when I have a good palette like this if I have enough time I'll just start another um painting that has a lot of the same colors because I already have them mixed up and they're so much fun. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me again on this beautiful Wednesday. I hope you have a great day <clears throat> and I will, as usual, I'll post this up in case anybody wants to watch it again. I'll put it, um, a link on my website and also be on my YouTube channel. Um, oh good, Allie. I can't wait to, I'll post that. Send me a picture of your cat watching. I love that. Bye Ellen. Bye, Mary. Bye, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll do it again next week. Thank you. Bye.